And he told me this wild story about how astronomers found an asteroid earlier this year, like just at the turn of the, the year. And it turned out that it was not an asteroid at all. The next day they realized that it was Elon Musk's Tesla from uh, from the, the Falcon Heavy launch in 2018. Right. Because it's, it's still up there. They launched it. It's orbiting the sun. The Minor Planet Center, the, the group that that announces the new discoveries that keep, you know, gives them their names and all that stuff had to actually issue a retraction to delete the entry, delete the asteroid from the records because it is not an asteroid at all. And Jonathan actually talked about this at AAS during a panel called Dark Skies. And it was one of, of, of a couple to talk about just the issues that astronomers are facing in this more modern spaceflight era. SpaceX launched 134 Falcon missions last year alone, more than most countries do. A lot of these companies uh, and, and some countries, some of the new players, are throwing their upper stages out into the cosmos rather than having them re-enter because it's easier to do it that way. Why is this important and not just, you know, a funny story about Elon Musk's car in space? Well, because these astronomers are trying to get an accurate picture of the solar system, of where stuff is, of where these asteroids are, and more importantly, where these near-Earth asteroids are, because we need to know where they are so that we can need to know if some of them are a problem or a threat that we're going to have to deal with, if it's going to come smack us in the face, you know, a decade plus down the line.